hello everyone today in this video we learn how to find ACF and LCM by using fundamental theorem of arithmetic so in the previous video in some videos we have learned how to find ACF and LCM by using prime factorization method to find ACF by long division method and Euclid's division algorithm but here in this question we learn to find ACF as well as LCM by using fundamental theorem of arithmetic so let's see how we use this fundamental theorem of arithmetic so in fundamental theorem of arithmetic first we use to find the factors prime factors of these two numbers then we compare the product of the primes so let's see 336 so if we find the prime factors of 336 since the unit digit is 6 so it is divisible by 2 so we can divide by 2 so if we divide 3 with 2 we will get one time here then 1 3 13 so if we divide 13 with 2 we will get 6 times 6 to serve 12 then 13 minus 12 is 1 so 1 6 16 so if we divide with 2 we will get 8 times then again we will try by 2 because the unit digit is 8 and that is even number and if the even number is there in the unit digit then the number is divisible by 2 so if we divide by 2 2 8 sir 16 2 4 sir 8 then again the unit digit is even number so by 2 here 4 times 2 times then by 2 again 2 times 1 time now if we see the unit digit is odd number and if the unit digit is odd number then the number is not divisible by 2 in that case we will have to see by the next prime number that is 3 so we will check whether this 21 is divisible by 3 or not so 2 plus 1 is 3 that means 3 is divisible by 3 so this 21 is also divisible by 3 if we divide we will get 7 times so from here from 336 we get 1 2 3 3 number of 2 into or 4 number of 2 sorry we get 4 number of 2 then 1 number of 3 into 1 number of 7 so these are the prime factors we have got from 336 now we will see from 54 so from 54 if we find the prime factors by 2 if we divide we will get 2 times here on 5 so 5 minus 4 is 1 1 for 14 2 7 sir 14 now since the unit digit is odd number it is not divisible by 2 anymore so we will have to try by next prime number that is 3 so if we try by 3 3 9 sir 27 then again if we divide by 3 we will get 3 times so from 54 we get one number of 2 one number of 2 into then 1 2 3 3 number of 3 then if we look at 7 since here as a prime factors we have 2 3 and 7 so here also we'll have to write 7 but since we don't have 7 as a prime factors of 54 so that means we will have to put a power of 0 because there is no 7 at all. So these are the prime factors of 336 and 54. Now we will try to find ACF and LCM. So ACF is equal to LCM. Now in case of ACF we will have to write all the numbers in both ACF and LCM so it is 2 into 3 into 7 in case of LCM also we will have to write 2 into 3 into 7 now since you may have thought that we have written the same number then how we will find the ACF and LCM differently the thing is in case of LCM we have to see that here also there is 2 here also 2 so in case of ACF 
we have to see here 2 has the power of 4 and in case of 54 2 has power of 1 so in ACF we will have to choose the smallest power if we compare these two so here 1 therefore so since 1 is smaller so we will have to take 1 in ACF then we will have to compare 3 so if we compare 3 here in 54 the power of 3 is 3 and here in 336 the power of 3 is 1 so we will have to choose the a smaller one so 3 also will have power 1 then if we compare 7 here 7 has a power of 1 here 7 has power of 0 so we have to take the smaller one that is 7 to power 0 so this is the ACF now in case of LCM we will have to compare and we will have to choose the bigger one so here 2 has power 1 and here 2 has power 4 so since the power 4 is bigger so in case of LCM there will be a power of 4 then we will have to compare 3 so 3 cube is bigger than 3 to the power 1 so we will take 3 cube then if we compare 7 then 7 to the power 1 is bigger so 7 to the power 1 now we will multiply it whatever the result we will get that is the ACF and LCM so 2 to the power 1 is 2 into 3 to the power is 3 to the power 1 is 3 into if any number has power 0 any number suppose a number is like this the power is 0 then the value is always 1 so since 7 has power 0 then the value is 1 so it's equal to 2 3 is 6 6 1 is 6 so this is the ACF of this 336 and 54 now we'll find the lcm so since 2 has power 4 that means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 so here we are getting 16 into 3 has power cube so that means 3 into 3 into 3 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 so 27 and 7 has power 1 that means it is 7 is equal to now we'll have to multiply and we'll have to find the answer like 16 into 27 7 6 are 42 remain 4 7 1 are 7 and 4 11 2 6 are 12 remain 1 2 1 are 2 and 1 3 so from here we are getting 2 2 and 1 is 3 and 432 then again 432 will be multiplied to a 7 so 400 32 multiply with 7 7 to sir 14 4 remain 1 7 3 is 21 and 1 22 remain 2 7 4 is 28 and 1 it is 30 so here after multiplying all these three numbers we are getting 3 0 2 4 so this is the lcm of this number so from this calculation we have learned how we is to find the ACF and ACF and LCM by using fundamental theorem of arithmetic now if any number is given then we can use the same method and we can find the ACF as well as LCM so thank you for watching this videos